telling me that she didn't name a successor. Then it's mine. I'm a son. The Lord goes to me. I'm sorry, Willis, but that's not so. She had to name someone, and she didn't. So now it goes to a vote. Bullshit. The leadership goes to me. Can't this kind of talk wait for another day? It belongs to me, you hear? It's mine. I'm the new Papaloa. We told you that couldn't be. Not unless we vote you in. Well, let me tell you something, bitch. I am the rightful heir, and there ain't no way, no way, that you gonna keep it from me. You in trouble, Lisa. You're all in trouble, and you gonna know it. Don't nobody turn their back on Big Willis. Especially you. If my mama hadn't have taken you off the street, you'd still be peddling, you jive-ass bitch. <laughs> One time, if I ever catch you even thinking about Lisa, anybody else here in this room, your ass is mine. Dig it? Right, brother. Right. You good people, take care, you hear? Be seen. And when we vote, we're voting for Lisa. I, as voodoo priests, have too much power. I, too, swore revenge. I swore one day they would pay for having me dethroned. What is it? <laughs> Bones. Bones that's powerful enough to revenge all past indignities. Must be careful, for this is power beyond all common men. I ain't afraid of no power. Good. Good. This is all you need to know.
sua vie, renime ses eaux, comme le soit fini, nous nous débarrasserons de nos soucis mortels. Le feu emporte la mort et la vie, renime ses eaux, et la soit fini. Tu sens bien rouge pour te rendre fidèle. Non, 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 souci. Le feu emporte la mort et la vie revient. Ranimez ses eaux, comme un soit fini. Le feu emporte la mort et la vie. Ranimez ses eaux, comme un soit fini. Le feu emporte la mort et la vie. Ranimez ses eaux, comme un soit fini.
Hey, what's this, man? What's going on, man? I can't see myself. You got something to do with this, man? I'm afraid that's one of the misfortunes of the cursed. Oh, man, you jiving. Hey, look here, man. You mean to tell me I ain't never gonna see my face again? Hey, look, man, I don't mind being a vampire and all that shit, but, but this really ain't him. I mean, a man has got to see his face. Shit. I don't even know if I want to go now. Can't even see myself. How do I look, man? You were going somewhere? Yeah. Justin's having a big party. And he's showing off his, uh, his African collection. African? Yeah, dude's brought back all kind of stuff. Sculpting, jewelry. <sighs> Come on, man, tell me the truth. It's important. How do I look? You've decided to go? Well, you know, I might as well. Anyway, my old lady's gonna be there, and she gonna get dead in my case if I ain't there. So look, you have a nice evening, and I'll see you later. You go nowhere! Now listen to me carefully. You are never to leave this house without my permission. Your only justification for crawling on this earth is to serve me. Understand me well. If you ever dare to disobey, I will slice into your chest and pull your worthless life out. Right.
place looks deserted. The owner's on vacation. Leave it to Willis to get himself a soft job. Hey, Willis! Willis? Willis, it's us, Elaine and Lewis. Maybe he's already gone. No, he knew we were coming to pick him up. This place gives me the creeps. Look around down here. I'm going upstairs. Alone? Hello? Elaine!
Nobody's there anymore. No one's around to hold you. You feel so alone. Well, I got the love you need. My answer is not a thing. You don't need to look no further. Call on me. Hotline. You say you need touch. Nobody's there with that long face. Oh, Will, I should have been here an hour ago. Honey, judging from what I heard happened between him and Justin this morning, ain't nobody named Willie showing up at this party. This isn't it. It's beautiful. Exquisite. The Niger Dynasty produced so many fine artists. Ivani. I beg your pardon? The necklace is of the Ibani Dynasty. We appreciate your concern, sir, but I believe you're mistaken. Hardly. It was fashioned in 1755. This necklace was worn by the Princess Luva. Do you have the magic necklace? <laughs> no, I didn't know there was one. Oh, yes. The other was made for her husband, a prince of the Ibani tribe. Oh, a thousand pardons. I didn't mean to intrude, but... I was out walking, and the happy sounds attracted me. Not at all. I think it's terrific. Are you sure about those dates and things? Yes. Hey, that's great. I'm happy to have you here. I'm Justin Carter. Jumbo. I'm called Mama Walde. Mama Walde? Miss Lisa Fortier? Mademoiselle Fortier? Professor Walston, African Studies, Ropes and University. Mima Furahi, Sana Kwakukuna. Lafia, it's my pleasure. What part of Africa are you from? The Segu River region, just north of the Niger Delta. I really must compliment you on your collection. It's just splendid. Thanks. It's a good one. Justin has donated the collection to the University Museum. I'm very happy. Well, the party's sort of an official goodbye. I see. Tell me, have you any more pieces from the Segu River region? Yeah, there are, as a matter of fact. Would you like to take a look at some of them? I'd be most pleased to, thank you. Lisa, why don't you show Mama Waldi around? Now, with such a lovely guide, I'm afraid I'd lose my concentration on the artwork. How about that? I do believe you know what he's talking about. Interesting dude. <laughs> <laughs> If I give you warm, will you give me cold? If I want to stay, will you be leaving me? 
If I tell the truth, would you tell me lies? If I try or not, will you be slipping out? Will I find you tripping out? Hey, mystery man! If I play it straight, will you go for laughs? If I order wine, will you be buying it? If I ask for speed, will you ask for slow? If I show I care, will you be walking out? Is that what it's all about? Hey! If I give you love, will you give me hate? If I name a date, will you be shutting down? Will I find you cutting down? Hey, mystery man! An historian or a dealer in African <laughs> antiquity? Neither. Merely a devoted amateur. All things African interest me. What do you do? Actually, I'm retired. Pretty young to be retired. <laughs> Very kind, but I'm afraid I'm considerably older than I appear. Why do you stare? I feel we've met before. Oh, if we had, I would not have forgotten. Elisa. Justin's asking for you. I think he needs some help. Thanks, Danny. Sure. Excuse me. But of course. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I'm doing fine. That's kind of strange looking, isn't it? It's rather unusual. Perhaps you can help me. Sure, what is it? What exactly is this doll? It looks familiar, but I can't quite... Well, you know it's a voodoo doll. <laughs> yes. Well, I think this one has to do with evil spirits. I'm not sure, though. You should ask Lisa. She might know. <laughs> might know? You gotta be kidding. When it comes to voodoo, Lisa has more natural power than anyone in the last ten years. Really? Hmm, so the Mama Loa virtually adopted you. At 17, you don't get adopted. Anyway, I'd hate to think of where I might be if she hadn't taken an interest in me. Now, you're being much too modest. I've been informed that you have exceptional powers in the exceedingly complex science of voodoo. Science? I never thought of it that way. To us, Voodoo is simply a religion based on faith. A powerful, powerful faith. Is it true, then, that under proper circumstances, you can control the inner being and change its destiny? You're staring again. I'm sorry. Is something wrong? I don't know. Oh, oh my God. It's my fault, then. Oh, it's my, my stupid fault. On that. Oh, how bad is it? Oh, it'll be all right. It, it'll be all right. Oh, Maggie, there's a first aid kit in the upstairs bathroom. I'll join you in a minute. Okay. Would you excuse me? Well, I must be leaving myself. Oh, must you? It'll only take a minute. Yes, I must go. I thank you very, very much for a lovely evening. Will we be seeing you again? Oh, yes, indeed you will. And a good, good night to you. Mr. Carter. Mama Waldy. Justin, please. Thank you. I'm afraid the wine has made me somewhat weary. Well, I do hope you've enjoyed yourself. Very much, thank you. Uh, Mama Waldy, I've acquired some ancient African jewelry. And I was wondering if you could come by sometime and help me figure where it came from. Oh, I'd be delighted. How about tomorrow afternoon? 
Evening would prove better for me. I'm rather a night person. I have an awful habit of sleeping away the daylight hours. Well, it is done. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Good night. How's Gloria? She's fine. It's just a small cut. Maggie's with her. <laughs> but brother, I still think you missed the force. Professor, let me tell you something. My publishing firm in one month makes more than the entire police department makes in one year. Now, do you still think I dig the force? Every time I hear your sighs, I know I will fall. Gloria! Oh, God! What happened? All right, give us some air, will you?
evening. Want some company? I beg your pardon? I said, do you want some company? Forget it. What is it we got here? Don't you dig our merchandise? What's the matter, man? Don't you dig girls? Or is that the reason for the cake? It sure is a sweet looking thing. Hey, man, with threads like that, it figures you've got to be loaded, right? So, uh, why don't you pass some this way, brother? Hey, faggot! We're talking to you. What is it you want? What is it you want? Shit. You're bread, man, all of it. Are we gonna have to become antisocial and kick your ass? You dig? I'm sorry, I don't have any bread with me. And as for kicking my ass, I strongly recommend that you give it careful consideration before trying. You jive, mother. Either you give it up or we're gonna take it out on your black ass. You made a slave of your sister, you're still slaves, imitating your slave masters. Hey, sucker. I've always considered myself a reasonable man. Now, my thinking may be a little prejudiced due to race, creed, and color, but then again, none of us are perfect. Anyway, I'm gonna give you the benefit of my friendship with Justin here. Harlan, what the hell are you talking about? How can you even consider Lisa as a possible suspect? Because this girl's murder tonight is not a normal murder. And if you ask me, the voodoo freaks had something to do with it. Harley, man, we are tired. Lisa. I know you people never talk of your voodoo, so I won't bother asking you questions pertaining to it. But there are certain characteristics generic to your religion that even the lay person knows. Allow me to mention two of the most obvious. Harley. Now, one is snakes. Even the uninitiated knows that snakes to voodooists are like cows to Hindus. Two, and this one's disgusting. Harley. Two. You guys drink blood. Now, this girl's body had two snake-like puncture marks on its throat, and said body was completely drained of blood. Completely drained of blood. Now, if that doesn't add up to voodoo, I don't know what does. Justin, do I have to sit here and listen to this crap? Hey, now just, just take it easy now. Pull yourself together. Now, uh, Harley, I admit those were strange-looking marks, man. And I know you're down on her thing, but you don't have to get sloppy about it. Lisa, what's this between you and Willis? I hear he's out to get you. I have nothing against Willis. Man, why don't you bring him in here and ask him? I will. If you need any help, give me a call. Oh, you think I'm going to need it? Mm-hmm. The worst detective I've ever had, and he wants to help. I'm amazed I didn't throw him off the force long before he quit. Yo. For you. Damn. Can you believe it? Same thing. No blood in the same stupid looking marks. Civic 31 clear. 13A9, no 
How'd you find me? Ex-detective. Remember? What's wrong? Those killings last night, the cause of death was identical to Gloria's. What's going on? Lisa, I've got to find out as much as I can about the cult. Now the lieutenant is looking to bring you in as a suspect. I want to prevent that. The lieutenant is crazy. He's out to get me. Mm, thank you. Look, honey, I told him that I would talk with you. I got to find out as much as I can about your membership in the cult. Are there any vendettas going on, grudges, anything like that? As far as I know, no one had it in for Gloria, or for anyone for that matter. The only grudge, if you want to call it that, is the one Willis might have for me. But I don't see how killing Gloria and those two guys would give him any satisfaction. Unless he wants to break up the cult. Yeah. Hey, you know something? If anything ever happened to you, I'd just blow the whole thing. What's happening tonight? I've been asked to sit with Gloria's body. Willis? Willis, if your black ass is here, you better not let me see it, because I'll bust it in two. Hey, Mama. Mama, oh, Mama, you, you son of a bitch. Why are you scaring me like hey. this? Keeping me waiting? Come on, girl. You did it on purpose. Slow down. Well, where have you been the past few days? Why are you hiding from me? Willis ain't hiding, baby. Look here, he's been working overtime. Hey. Just relax. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let me let me get a good feel of those bones. <sighs> <laughs> yeah. I missed you. Oh. Hey. These bones are tense, baby. Oh yeah. Yeah, come on. 
Willis is gonna do something to work all that out for you, okay? <laughs> yeah. Hey, baby. These bones are tight. Well, what you gonna do about that? <laughs> Big Willis is gonna have to do something to relax your entire body. You think you know just how to get to me, don't you? Yeah. Well, I can feel the blood just humming through this fine body. Oh, that feels good. Yes. Mm. I missed you, Willis. Hey, take it easy. Willis, you're hurting me. <laughs> Where did you get them teeth? Take that crap out your mouth. <laughs> Willis, stop it now. Stop it now, Willis. Stop it, I mean it, stop it. Willis! <gasps> Don't be afraid. That's it. Come on. Me. 
Lisa. Gloria. Hello, Lisa. I won't hurt you. You're my friend. no human is capable of comprehending. The things I do, the acts I commit, are beyond my control. Where did you go from? Lisa. The fire that gave me life. see you again. I'll make everything clear to you then. <laughs> I have gathered you all here to issue a warning. You all know Lisa Fortier. shall harm her. This is a commandment. And if one of you disobeys, you will never imagine the pain I offer. Unendurable, everlasting agony.
gotta tell you, babe. <laughs> you sure know how to live. Hey, you know, the way I look at it, if that jive mother leaves Big Willis alone, Willis gonna leave him alone, baby. Now you talking, honey. You just ignore his ass. Hey, but you know one thing, though? What's that? That skinny ass Lisa. That bitch is gonna fall under my wrath. Not directly, mind you. But surreptitiously, you dig? Yeah, I believe it. And you want to know something else? What's that, baby? <laughs> she deserves whatever you give her. Hey, and she gonna get it all. <laughs> <laughs> I never did like that bitch. Oh, badass Blackula come telling us to lay off of her. But no matter what, I'm gonna get back at that bitch. She did too big a number on me to let her get off that easy. Yeah, well, what you gonna do to her, sugar? I'm waiting. I'm waiting on the inspiration. But it's got to be something special. <laughs> <laughs> you dare. Oh, shit, what did I do? Hey! What's happening, man? You were warned. Warned about what? That nothing should ever happen to Lisa. Lisa? Who's gonna harm Lisa? I love that bitch. Hey, what right you got coming in here bothering us? Hey, baby, cool it. I heard about you. You just stay on your side of the house. Hey, Denny. Well, you just gonna let him bully you around? Hey, man. Don't mind her. She means well. Well, what are you looking at? Hey, Denny. Now, look. I'm not taking any more of this shit, Willis. I mean, whose house is this, yours or his? Listen, you. If you... Now you'll be thankful that I've chosen not to rip out your worthless heart. Very shortly, I shall bring Lisa Fortier here. I shall designate a quiet room, which you are to arrange according to her instructions. Once we enter that room, there'll be no interruptions. If you allow any violation of that commandment, fry. What is it? The damnest thing I've ever seen. Bat pillage. What the hell is bat pillage? Hairs from the skin of a bat. Bat? What kind of a bat? I don't know. Actually, we've never seen one like this before. It could be a new species. is it, this whole shelf. Black arts, occult. That should keep you busy for a while? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Vampires? Are you out of your mind? 
Probably, but I'd still like to look into it. Well, you think you can prove this is a vampire? Let's see, just a minute. Hey, Charlie! Yeah? You know who killed that girl and those two punks? No, who? A vampire! <laughs> Charlie's our expert in everything. Harley, are you through having your fun? <sighs> now, I didn't say I can prove it, but let's give the theory a shot. Bad hair. Bodies drained of blood. One even disappeared. Now, you can't ignore the possibility. Oh, Justin. Well, look, have you talked to Willis yet? Lieutenant? Excuse me. Hey, hi, Justin. There's something strange here. What? Now, these are the pictures we took of the dead bodies, and there's no sign of them. It's as if they were never there. Now, what the hell does this mean? Hey, let me see that. Well, maybe the film is faulty. Impossible. Everything else came out in those pictures. Okay, Milt. Hey, Harley, this backs me up. Everybody knows that vampires can't be photographed. Now, every 10-year-old knows that. Ah. Boy, you're making me nervous. Sergeant Williams! You want me to do something? Williams! Harley, I want you to get permission for me to look at one of those bodies, and I want you to come with me. No. Harley! No! Yes, Lieutenant? Get someone over to the Anderson place and bring Willis Daniels in. Right, sir. You really mean it, don't you? Will you do it? Oh, I'm really getting to dislike you. Would you care for some wine? Oh, not a thing, thank you. I see you're interested in folklore. Yeah, I've been on sort of a kick lately. Been reading all sorts of junk like this. Junk? Well, you've got to admit that this stuff is pretty far out. You believe in any of it? Occults, rituals? <laughs> Let me say that uh, I believe there are many things that exist that man does not know about. Man needs ritual some form of worship to combat the very real existence of death. I look upon that as one of man's basic needs. Well, I go along with that. But I've got to tell you, I'm a born cynic. <laughs> I finished just one book in it, Ed. You ever hear of Count Dracula? Yes, of course. Vampire, right? Well, this book tried to make me believe that he really existed. And not only that, it tried to convince me that vampires are real. That's <laughs> fascinating. Well, I guess we'd both best be careful that one doesn't jump out at us some dark night. Such skill one. A wooden stake must be driven through its heart. I wonder if that's true. I wonder. I've always loved the deep red color of a fine wine. It is beautiful, isn't it? Yes, much like the deep red color of blood. Yes. I think I will have a little glass after all. You know, you never told me where you were staying. You know, you've never asked. <laughs> where are you staying? Do you really care to know? Why not? Justin, rather than give you information of no consequence, allow me to offer you some rather profound advice. Forget your theories. Return these books to their shelves. Because if there's one thing you should have discovered in your studies, it is that the intelligence of man is pathetically inadequate when pitted against the forces of the unknown. A man comes face to face with a vampire, 
He would most surely be at its mercy. I believe a vampire is responsible for the recent killings in this town. Then you believe in vampires. Good. That gives you something of an edge over the rest. I'm going to find him. And I'm going to do whatever is necessary to kill him. Justin, I hope you'll have good luck and find nothing. Because if you're right, and these unfortunate deaths are indeed the work of a vampire, who knows who will be its next helpless victim? Now I must go. Do have a good night. I'm frightened. For the first time in my life, I'm frightened. All my life, I feared nothing. And now you tell me what you are. And I accept it. Completely, without question. I'm afraid. You mustn't be. No harm can come to you. But... I have no choice. My only alternative is to destroy myself. At least I know that Voodoo, in the proper hands, can unlock many mysteries. Yours is a, a power unlike mine. It can be used for good as well as evil. Now, if I were back home with my people, they would understand me and forgive me. Therefore, I ask that you help me return to my homeland by exorcising this demonic creature that inhabits my body. Yes, you must try. There's no other way. You're my only hope. I'll try. to have a word with Lisa Fortier? Lisa Fortier? Yes. May we come in? No, what do you want? The lieutenant wants to talk to you, ma'am. We have a warrant. I advise you to let the lady go. Who are you? You better stay out of this, mister. I implore you, for the last time, leave her alone and leave this house. Listen, buddy, we got a warrant. You know what a warrant is? Now you stay out of this, or I'll lock your uppity black ass up for... Are you all right? 
Yes. Well, I think you're gonna need a little more than an empty coffin to convince me of vampires, wouldn't you say? Harley, just think of what's happened. The two punks, glorious. Both bodies drained of blood. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but Harley, that means something. What about the photographs? Oh, for Christ's sake, I don't know. Look, give me the benefit of the doubt, okay? Now, look, uh, don't get nervous, but I had my man pick Lisa up. What? For all protection, just in case. Hey, what are your clients are missing? Lieutenant. Yeah? What? When? The two of them? You won't know what to look for. Whoever finds the girl, get her out of there right away. Hey, Harley! Harley! Come here! Look, why don't you have every man to get one of these? Hey, Justin, don't you Harley. think that's a... Please, please, man, trust me. Well, go ahead, take them. Come on, come on. Lieutenant, don't you think this is a little ridiculous? Go on, take one and shut up.
Please, you mustn't be frightened. Stay away. Please. I could never harm you. Don't touch me! But you've got to help me. No, don't refuse me now. I need you. Give away! Yeah. <sighs> 
Freedom, freedom. 